Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a new update uh, on Ton. Wanted to update that because we have lost a very old uh, uptrend we had. Uh, got, a, got a significant bearish breakout yesterday. Also some, some bigger spikes, which is... Um, I've said this before, but I do think that Ton is, at least to a certain extent, it's it's quite manipulated. Um, or at least, I mean, it's it's uh, there, there, there's parties or, or there's, there's whoever behind Ton... Uh, who were obviously pumping up the price here and there, right? And and Ton has seen some uh, some some major spikes in the past as well. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, Ton fundamentally is still a great project, right? Um, so it it it, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> but still, you need to know that, and that's also, I think, partially where these moves came from, because for example, this spike. Um, yesterday afternoon, that was not a market spike, all right? That was very, very much ton. Um, and a lot of ton being sold off and, and not Bitcoin dropping down and therefore altcoins spiking down uh, spiking down more, um, which this latter move was, all right? So, um, so yeah, let's talk about this. Let's talk about what's going on. Like I said, ton fundamentally, it's it's been probably like the biggest grower in terms of uh, network size in the last year. It has great backing. Um, I think that there's some some real use cases for Ton. I think it's uh, I think it's a great onboarder of new retail. This is all unpaid, of course. This is just what I really think at this point of time. Um, but it's it's not invincible, all right. So fundamentally, it's great. If you look at the technicals right now, like I said, um, long-term technicals don't look great. We had a significant level right here, or at least, uh, well, not the most significant level, but it it is a significant level. Um, we hit that, or at least we're about to hit that, and we're not gaining that much support from there, so far at least. And then apart from that, if we if we look at some order flow, and, and we'll talk about everything, right? So we'll talk about what's possible, what's most likely, etc. If you look at the order flow, we got, first of all, huge liquidations yesterday afternoon. But second of all, um, we're losing a lot of momentum, all right? And, and that's just, uh, it's, it's a sign of the times, but that does mean something for Ton as well. So for me, on the short term, I think we should be uh, bearish here. I think overall, like like you could see that this whole situation we have right here, if you say this is a, a fake out, um, what you could say is that this is just going to turn into one big consolidation, right? So that right now the, the bottom of the consolidation is either 5.5 or $5, and that we are dropping down to the bottom of that consolidation. And for now, I have to agree with that. All right, we, the uptrend we had with, with Ton was, was super strong, but now it, it seems to me with these market circumstances and with the with the price action we've had, it seems unlikely that we'll be able to recover because to turn bullish for Ton here, we would need to break above 7.25 and 7.4, uh, which from these levels is about a 15% move, which for a crypto like Ton with its market cap is, is very hard to do. Um, so I, I do think this, this major breakout, I think that lasts, Apart from that, I think the reaction we've had so far is very weak. You want, if you drop down, you want at least this. And right now we're doing this, all right? So, so that's bad. And then the markets, of course, are not great. These markets are not strong enough to sustain uh, to, to sustain all cryptos. And at this point of time, it, it seems like the markets are, are that weak that it cannot sustain any crypto. So like I said, if we, if we, if we zoom back out, I do think that this support level could save us, all right? So so let's say between 6 and 6.3. I think we're, we're able to find some support here. Um, I do expect that. That's also in line with more support from, from Bitcoin. Uh, but unless from that support level, we can kind of like, we can consolidate on top of that. But unless we will get a major bullish breakout from there above, let's say, um, 7 point uh, or 6.75, Unless we get that breakout, it's not really going to turn any, in, into anything, all right? So so only if we drop down there and we break above 7 point, uh, or 6.75, then there's a chance that we turn bullish again or that we consolidate higher. Um, but I think it's most likely, at least for now, that, uh, that we'll drop down there, consolidate, and that later we'll drop down lower towards 5.5. Um, but I'll keep you updated on that, all right? If you're interested in that, it, de it depends very much on the markets and how we react to that level. All right, so I'll keep you updated on that. For now, I think that's most likely and what you need to know. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.